guys. What goes on? Greetings from Minnesota. My name is JPGRox and welcome back to another Redstone video. Today I have a couple of really cool things to show you guys. Many of you who are old school fans of Minecraft YouTube videos and in particular Redstone videos will probably recognize the name CNB Minecraft. For those of you who don't, uh, around five, six years ago, he was one of the premier redstoners on YouTube. And he inspired quite a few people to get into redstoning, including myself. And his most popular design by far was his working digital clock, which accurately displayed in-game time. The problem is that those videos, that tutorial, was posted over six years ago, and a lot of things have been added to the game and to how Redstone works since then. And I figured, since he seems to have more or less disappeared, that I would do my very best to update his design, and I've actually come up with a couple different versions. As you can see, we aren't in a void world. This is my redstone testing world because I didn't really want to build either of these again. And here they are, right here. This one right here is the classic 12 hour AM PM version. But I also wanted to create this version right here. What this one does is it essentially displays the same information as this one, but it does it in military time. And how both of these work is actually fairly simple, and they both are very similar to each other. Both of them are run by these simple timers right here. This is the master mechanism that controls everything. And what it first does is it activates this piston feed tape. And once certain, certain, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Certain, um, uh, numbers, numbers, I can't believe I forgot that word, numbers are hit, this portion activates, and then goes and powers this rather simplistic leading edge monostable circuit, which activates this one time. And that cycle continues until a certain number is hit here, and so on and so forth. And then this mess right here, what this does is it cycles the one over here, and it also cycles the change way over here from AM to PM. And as you can see here, this is just another rather simplistic two, two option piston feed tape. This was the best way I could figure out how to do it on on Bedrock Edition, and as I said before, this operates to a similar premise as this one. The only main difference is pretty much this section right here. This section is virtually I identical, but once we get over here, we have a much larger piston feed tape than the third one over there, simply because instead of 12 hours, we need 24. And then over here, this cluster of redstone really is just a way of wiring up this three output piston feed tape here. All in all, this, uh, well, both of these really took quite a bit of thought as to how I wanted to pull them off, but they both work, and I'm honestly really proud that I was able to pull even some of what I wanted to off. 
there's still some things I'd like to do to tweak this. The timing between when the different displays shift could be ironed out a little more. And if, if I decide to do a tutorial on this, that's probably one of the main ways this design will be tweaked. But I don't plan on doing a tutorial right now because it would probably take multiple videos, especially if I was going to do both the 12 hour version and the military time version. But if you guys really do want to see a tutorial of this design, I'd recommend leaving a comment down below and also maybe subscribing because I'm going to hit 200 subs soon, hopefully. And that would be a great indication of if you guys want to see a tutorial of either or both of these designs. But anyway, guys, that's all she wrote. My name is JPGR Rocks, farewell from Minnesota, and I will see you next time.